What's up, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be covering the best way to idle cards in 2022. It's up to date, works really well, really fast, and is something you should definitely look into if you own a ton of games, have a ton of card drops to go, and of course want to either earn some money back or earn some cards to level up your account. That's all this video is going to focus on, this video will hopefully be rather quick. If you get lost, you'll find more info in the description down below, related videos, and of course, timestamps. For this video, I'll be using Archie Steam Farm. It's a bit different to Idle Master, which you've probably seen before, but it's a lot more powerful. When you get to this GitHub page, linked it down below, all you have to do is look on the right hand side for releases and click the version here. When you do so, you'll be taken across to this page. You can then scroll down to the very bottom and you'll find a bunch of download links. I'm on Windows X64, so I'll click that over here. You'll then download download a zip which you can open up and you simply need to extract everything in this folder here to a folder like on your desktop or a place where you won't lose it. So I'll make a new folder on my desktop called ASF, open it up and drag all of the files out of the zip into the folder here and close the zip. Now before we even run RG Steam Farm, you'll need to double click on the config generator link over here which should open up a page in your browser. When it does so, at the very top click ASF Archie Steam Farm, then click Toggle Advanced Settings and just make sure that IPC is checked as such. Then scroll to the very bottom of this page and click Download. Then look back at the Archie Steam Farm folder, open the config folder here, then drag and drop the JSON file we just downloaded into here. All that this file does is toggle the user interface on so we can see what we're doing. So I'll head back a folder, then double click on archiesteamfarm.exe to open up the actual program. If you see a pop up like this, click more info and run anyways. Now the program is booting and of course it'll take some time on the first launch. Now all you have to do is open up a browser and at the very top up here, you'll be typing in local host colon 1242. Hit enter and you should see the screen over here. If you're not already in dark mode, click the settings wheel in the top right and make sure dark mode is enabled. It'll save your eyes. Then make sure you're on the bots tab and click create new bot. All you have to do here is enter a name for the account. It doesn't really matter what this is. It's just for you to find it on the list, a steam login username and steam password password over here. Then make sure enabled is turned on and right over here underneath these tick boxes, you have online status. If you set this to offline, you'll be idling games and it won't actually say that you're idling games. This is probably the best option here. You can choose anything else here if you'd like. Just know that if you have anything selected that's not invisible or offline, everyone on your friends list will get notifications as you're idling games and they'll of course think you're playing them. Selecting offline here is the best option. Now there's a ton of other settings here, including custom game played while farming under the customization tab at the very bottom. And you can simply say something like, I'm idling cards. This way your account will say that you're playing I'm idling cards while you're idling for cards. Something else that you might find useful is skip refundable games under the farming section. If you'd like to refund games or keep the refund game window open, i.e. you have to own it for longer than a certain amount of time or play it above two hours, I think it is, in order to not refund a game, having this ticked will make sure that only games that you can't refund at all, i.e. they've expired or you've played too long already, so you don't actually lose the ability to refund games that you bought and would rather trade back. This is a good idea to turn on unless you don't mind keeping all of the games that you own currently, you don't want to refund any of them. I'd leave this ticked just for good measure. So quickly before I finish this, at the very top, name, steam login and steam password I'll all be filling in now. For the name, I'll just be calling it main as it's my main steam account. Now to fill in the login and password. When you're done, click create at the very bottom and your account should be added to the list. If you head into the Archie Steam Farm window, you'll see that it's asking you for your two-factor code if you have it enabled, which I highly recommend you do. I'll simply enter it here, hit enter, and after you've done so, you'll be logged into your account. You'll know you're successfully logged in when you see your profile picture icon appear here. From here, there's nothing else you need to do. It'll automatically start idling cards. As you can see, it's idling Serious Sam 4. I have 95 games left to idle, 391 cards, and it'll take roughly a week, one day, 12 hours. Super simple. I'm technically playing a game right now, so if I open up Steam, I should be in game, but I'm not. That's the power of playing in offline mode in Archie Steam Farm. This way you can idle cards for games, increase your hours, but it won't say that you're playing games. Super useful. So for now, I'll reopen my account here, click the config button over here, and I'll change it from offline to say online. I'll scroll down, 
save. And you can see I've already got a card drop in the top right of my screen here. Unexpected, but it's down there. What I'll do from here is close Archie Steam Farm and reopen it. Let's just say you booted up your PC, you open up Archie Steam Farm, do you automatically start playing a game? Well, the simple answer is yes. Now that I've set it to online instead of offline, you should see that I'm playing a game just now. There we go, I'm now in No Man's Sky, idling cards. That's why you'd want to have it in offline mode. You saw that I got a card drop, so that worked, and that's really about it. Just remember, if you ever need to get back to the user interface, all you have to do is open a browser and head across to localhost colon 1242. You can also create a desktop shortcut simply by dragging the URL up here onto a place like your desktop, ASF bots. If you like to bookmark the actual program, simply hold alt and drag from Archie Steam Farm over here to your desktop and you'll create a shortcut immediately. Now you can rename them and do with them as you please. You've now set up Archie Steam Farm properly. I for one will be leaving my account in offline here. And simply opening my friends list once again, you see that I'm now online, even though I'm idling cards. You'll be idling cards as long as this window is open or minimized. Make sure you don't delete the ASF folder, and that's really about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.